Welcome back with an update on Hurricane Ian. 105 mile night winds. It's getting stronger as it approaches um, Cuba and is expected to become a Cat 3 upon upon landfall in Cuba. 120 mile night winds as it leaves Cuba. So might be slightly stronger, weakening a little bit because of land interaction or has brown ocean water effect and just gets stronger over the island. Shooting up to 140 mile an hour winds, briefly, before weakening back down to 130, 120, 110 mile an hour winds, landfall in Tampa. Well, just west of Tampa, which just makes it worse for Tampa because Tampa will be underwater. This is for Thursday morning. You got till Thursday. Well, Wednesday to evacuate, basically, and do so. If you're along the coastline, if you're on, on any of these small islands, evacuate immediately. And if, say, your employer, your boss, or whatever, is trying to force you to ride out the storm because they need you to work on something, fuck them. Evacuate. Do not put, do not put your lives on the line for a job or anything like that. Um, although I'm sure there's exceptions with, like, emergency personnel, news acres, and whatnot that's there because of this, that is there because of the storm. But any other industry, if you're, evacuate. Fuck any employers that try to force you to ride out the storm, evacuate. Because we ain't gonna have another Amazon thing where a tornado comes through, or... Or a flood comes in, killing half the staff because they're forcing you to work through a hurricane. Fuck them. Evacuate. Telling how it is because water is going to be funneled into the Tampa Bay. So whatever is forecasted, expected to be even higher for the Tampa Bay area. Especially... This area here, the old Tampa Bay. I wouldn't be surprised if this peninsula here becomes a uh, be becomes a, an island for for a period amount of time. I would not be surprised if this becomes an island because this area here could easily become completely underwater. Okay. Honeymoon Island, gonna be a, a lot of this is gonna be underwater. Um, so this is definitely not gonna be good. A good place to be um but yeah this is what we're looking at and we're continuing on 75 mile night one hurricane going through brooksville and we got 35 mile night one tropical depression going into georgia and 30 mile night one tropical depression going into the carolinas um likely to be post-tropical by the time it gets into virginia um and, well the virginias Especially as it hits the high, the higher elevations, where it's more likely to lose its tropical status. But also note it could go into the Atlantic and try to re-strengthen a little bit. If anything, it'll probably just be a slightly stronger tropical storm than what it is when it leaves Florida. Um, if anything, it'll be like that. Slightly stronger tropical storm. Not thinking it... Assuming it goes into the Atlantic, I doubt it will become a hurricane again going in in the Atlantic unless if it manages to maintain hurricane strength going into the Atlantic, if it does. And this is all assuming it goes into the Atlantic to begin with. Um, but yeah, this is definitely a situation here. Already seeing outer bands in parts of Florida. And there's a huge tornado threat for, for the entire... well basically the entire state um so yeah this is not something you want to write out well unless if you're just into that sort of thing and then i guess it's a perfect storm no pun intended um but yeah hurricane warnings hurricane watches tropical storm warnings tropical storm watches for cuba and florida and even parts of georgia so and depending on if this goes into the Atlantic briefly or like the 
if it leans further to the east on the cone and goes into the Atlantic, it could very well strengthen, and we can see tropical storm watches and warnings get get extended into the Carolinas. Um, but nonetheless, models going further up into New York, this whole area here. Um, this Cody one is a bit worrying because it just keeps it in the water longer than it needs to. Um, odd, although odds are that one won't verify, but Cody rarely verifies at all, but it's like, that's a bit of a concern there. And we have this. Um, so yeah, uh, that does seem to be it for right now. Stay safe out there. And honestly, depending on what happens here, this could make or break any political campaigns in Florida right now, especially for the governor's seat. Um, depending on how well DeSantis handles this hurricane, will determine what will probably determine whether or not he gets reelected, especially with how close this is to the elections. Um, let's put that out there. Um, but yeah, that does seem to be it for right now. Stay safe out there. See you in the next video. Bye.